So, things have gotten really interesting with the Gunpla. I'm going to change it up on you guys today. Got a little bit of DBZ action. And then, your boy picked up a Grail Gunpla. And I know it might not be as dope to everybody else. I can't wait for this month. What's up, you guys? I'm back with some Gunpla action and decided to go a little different route today. I've been hitting you guys with some high grades, um, be getting into some master grades. Gundams uh, in the next video is coming, but before we go there, I'm not this these aren't really graded uh, I know they have like the 1 in 144 scale the 1 in 100 scale Real grade master grade high grade perfect grade things like that, but we have part of the figure rise standard the Super Saiyan Go Tanks with Ghost Go Tanks, and this is uh, not a bad box kit at all. It actually only cost maybe 20 bucks. I got it a while ago. Nothing too new. I'm pretty sure it's been out for quite some time. Let me check. Yep, 2019 actually. So it's been out for a year now. Uh, let's see if we can get it on. Maybe. No. Well, it says. It says right there. Sorry, I got a little blurry. Tump came out in 2019. It is a part of the Dragon Ball Z. They have a, a Vegeta, a Goku. They have a Vegito. I actually have that one. And they actually have the original legendary Super Saiyan Broly, which I also have. And I'll do all those kit reviews and stuff like that at a later date. But first, we got that. And this is him so this is really small and i'm actually not the biggest fan of the dbz model kits because they have them like okay so and we'll get to it in the articulation video but hand test you know like if you see any other one you know my hand is is you know pretty pretty decent size and then whenever it's it's next to a high grade or a master grade they about even out so for it to be this small and that's officially where my hand sits so it's a it's a little guy the ghosts are actually even smaller which i'll get to here's one right here so we'll jump to this this uh on the rotation display but it's he has you know the green and the white tr the white pants and stuff like that and his vest looks kind of off from the show a little bit color wise obviously he has a yellow but it, it's it's there he actually has two different like faces and um different hands and stuff so right here he has the hand pointing up and the peace sign so that's actually two hands he actually has a fist and he actually has two more hands that make like a uh, focus blast from like dbz and the ghost uh maybe put one of them on there they actually all are doing a different pose which is really solid the only uh you know weird thing about these is that they were like two or three pieces to put together so the ghosts weren't much of anything at all but they actually still made them look solidly decent you know like not mad about it uh they actually showed just this amount of detail as the funko pop ghost go tanks that they came out with so not not too mad at it i really like this kit for what it is it wasn't too much so i mean we'll go over to this articulation and it it, it does a little bit of everything I, I i like it it's not um too cheap i guess but you are limited so i guess we'll we'll kind of start with the feet and those just kind of you can do a complete 360 spinning it with the heel and stuff like that but like as far as bending it forward and back it, it's kind of stiff it won't go too far so if you're really into doing action uh photos or any sort of videos um good luck <laughs> because you're limited whereas any gundams or any other kits i have you can do like kind of 
a whole 360, 180. Like, it's not just rotate, pivot, barely 90 degrees. So it's not, it, it doesn't have that much movement. The legs as well, they go and they go probably, he can do maybe like a kick and that'll be where they stop. Or if you want to like sit him on his butt or something like that, just with his legs out, uh, that that's another option. But they don't have that much, you know, articulation where you can move it because, and as you can see, turning it so far, the joint will start to pop out. So that's something you wanna kind of avoid. Now he does have knee joints in both of them, obviously. So that's actually a good thing. It's not too stiff. You, There are things you can do with this. The uh, His little tie piece next on his waistband and the actual waistband are actually like only two pieces. And I'll take the, the, the top off from the bottom. And as you can tell, it's just two pieces and they just they just pop on there it's it's real easy for it to come off i mean it's it's easy for it to come off but it won't just fall off so you got to put a little force into it um i i like it i like this thing a lot i like it as a whole setup as a, what i do with it is put it up standing and then as you can tell right here one of the accessories the galactic donuts is one of his finishing attacks and you can actually put that right above his head and it'll sit behind it and in some good photos maybe you could take that clear the clear pieces out and it won't look so you know harsh and then what i also like to do is just put the ghost around him either you know one just side to side and then one to the back or group them together I, I love this piece it's not too crazy it's not really big i think it might be the size of a pop or maybe a little shorter but I, I like it for what it is um it's actually my second favorite besides the jiren because i actually do want to get that one so the Broly and the Jiro are my top two that uh, I like in the Dragon Ball Z because they have a more statuous kind of build to them and they don't look so wonky. Like, as you can tell in the joints, like in the arms, and it's even worse with the Vegito and maybe even the Goku. Uh, like, they just look very fragile and I don't, I don't like that sort of thing. If, if I want that, I'm gonna just go get an action figure. That's just me personally, only because uh model kits are iffy you know i'm just be honest it, uh, with them like staying together and, and whatnot if you're trying to move them around or anything so it is what it is with that not mad at it. like i said i love this kit i don't plan on getting too many dbz ones i'm gonna maybe get the jiren one at a later date but as far as i know they have like a gogeta super saiyan 4 i know they have super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta um, I know there's a Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan, so they have a lot of them, and they uh, they actually have it to where some of the pieces go with other kits. So like the Marvel Legends, they'll be uh, exclusive to a Walgreens that'll have like a head and a hand. They kind of it kind of does the same thing with other kids. So that's something that you guys might want to check out. I like this kit a lot. Okay, so here we go. I got a package in from a place called the Gundam Galaxy. I like it. it has a little Gundam right there. It's pretty dope. And you guys, it. I passed up on this Gundam like I told you. If uh, you want to check out my last video I did on the high grade Ak guy, uh, I passed up on the master grade version not knowing what it was because like i said the box was different than what it's supposed to look and that's something that they do with the gundam boxes i just it didn't click you know i just thought it was a blue one so i passed up on it and i've been searching and searching and the only thing i could find is in the 70 80 range and that was rough so i, I had to pass on it and i found the high grade for like 14 bucks it was or something so that one wasn't that much so i'm actually pretty stoked i found uh this place gundam galaxy again guys go check him out he has uh actual website 
and an Instagram communicated back and forth with me uh, I actually got the last one of these in stock so I'm, I'm really excited about that one make sure you guys go check them out definitely worth a look um, I'll show you guys how it's packed first I open the label this is sitting right on uh, one of the flaps on the other side so that is just the invoice and here it is this is how he is packed I dig it not mad at that at all that's what you need to do just take this out set it here oh sweet right on i love getting these things uh the gumpla anniversary uh like it's a promo code you can enter like some of their like giveaways and stuff like that sometimes if they have them as promo codes that's what i've gathered anyways and here it is no need to zoom on this so as you can tell this is why i passed up on it i thought it was blue i seen this at my local hobby shop i know i did for for certain and he had it there for the same price that i got this for and this is a big one i'm 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 really surprised hold on so here is the master grade and here is the high grade box so you can obviously tell like a huge huge difference in the size and I actually checked out um, a quick review on this nothing nothing too extensive at all just mostly on the size and I, I know after I build this I'm not gonna be disappointed with the size because I really wasn't disappointed with the size of the high grade so I, I'm really excited to get into this one uh, mostly gonna start this probably the day so I can't wait to get to this. I love the master grades. This one actually has a total different amount of functions and just a lot of a lot of cool stuff that the high grade is lacking. And that for me, you guys, is a big reason why I don't invest into a lot of high grades. I'd rather save the money or wait it out and get a couple high grades or a high uh, high grade, a couple master grades or something like that. Um, because they just they're bigger to scale they do a lot more compared to what the high grades do now i heard the real grades are actually more like fully like like the master grades just not with size so that that may be true i have i have not i think i've done one real grade i'm gonna be honest with you i think i've done one real grade because I'm, I'm a master grade guy so I'm happy to add this to com to my collection. Got this one built and finished. I, I love this uh, Go Tanks. It looks good com with all the other non Gundam related Gumpla kits. I really like it. Can't wait to dig in this. You guys, you gotta get on the Gumpla. Just do one. Do one. Tell me how you feel. If you already been doing. What's some of your favorites you picked up lately? I appreciate you guys. Thank you for taking the time.